At the beginning of time, the Chinese have held in high regard the three statues of prosperity, Fu, Lu, and Su. And to preserve the honors due these gods, their images were cast into the finest of stone, through war and peace, through centuries and dynasties. The statues remain secret for all of those years, until the early 1960s, when a wealthy art collector named Rosenberg acquire the three magnificent idols. Rosenberg was not like other art collectors. Eccentric as he was, he decided one day to give all the statues away. He held a great contest for the great fighters. From around the world, the great men came, warriors, mercenaries, and some who just thought they were tough to fight for the three magnificent gods of the Chinese. As Rosenberg watched the fights, the battle went for many days. Many men were defeated, and some lost their lives. And in the end of all the battle, only three fighters remained to take the three statues. The first champion was Armstrong from Australia. Samson Armstrong would later move to California. The second fighter was the legendary Korean champion, Kim. Kim would take his statue and give it to his son, Ryan, who had also moved to California. To carry on his father's legend, he would study karate from the third champion of the statue, Sakagawa, Kim's longtime friend. And Rosenberg died shortly after, never knowing the legacy of Fu Lu Su.
Ryan, I'm telling you, they're gonna go nuts before this crazy rock star. Yeah, will you relax? Around. We do this every weekend. Can't we just fight a normal fight for once? It's the same thing. We, we rehearse it. It's like, it's like a flash. I'm like a flash. Ryan, more like out in the stretcher, man. Look who they're sending out. It's a sada. Hey, check this out, Michael. What's the guy weigh? That is extremely nasty. B. And then. Do you think this guy might be mad at me or something? I tell you, he's not a happy camper. Oh. Hey, be careful with this guy. You remember what he did to Paul last year? The Paul's a wimp. Hey, I heard you. Ryan, the guy broke three this. ribs, man. So? So? Huh? The guy did it with one kick. Jerry, oh, look, two beers say I beat him on a three-point spread. Coronas? I got put the foot in the side of the set. Whoa! They went, oh, 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 oh. I just fell down. Oh, you barely fell down. Do we have your autograph? Of course. Oh, oh, that's yeah. yours. Oh, oh, cheers. Oh, Stark. <laughs> Why, you must be a very famous man. It's the glasses. It's the glasses. The glasses. The glasses. We, we both have glasses. glasses. <laughs> man, you got some big lips. You got some big lips, too. Man. What are you talking about? Oh, man, you got a herpes, too. Oh, man, get out of here. Let's go. You still love me? I still love you. You the man, you the winner. Yeah. I have the money. That's what I'm talking about. You the band winner with the money. You got five dollars? Not for you. I gotta Stuck get sensei. I'll, ch I'll check you later. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, Hollywood. Yo, sensei, wait up. It's all right. Yeah, good. Yeah, I like that. You could have won. today, kid. So? A lot of people saw me fight. And congratulations to you too, old man. Not too shabby in spite of yourself. You trained the kid well. Did you teach him to dance also? No, I choreographed it myself. Just like I choreographed the kicks to your boy's face. They love to eat my kicks and I love to feed them. That ain't my team, Dick Nose. What is Dick Nose? It's bad sense. My team is made up of men who fight for real, not a bunch of boys who play tag dressed in... What the hell is that thing, anyway? Are you serious? It's custom. If you don't like it, maybe you should step in the ring with me. You'll see how serious I am. Maybe a loudmouth boy here needs another lesson. This time in good old-fashioned butt-stomping. Enough, Armstrong. Are you done with your speech? 
I'm just beginning. This is a place for you. This is a place for skill and honor. I saw very little skill here today. And this is the honor I saw. Don't you teach humiliation in your classes now? Sensei. Maybe what you need is a real match with real pain. Is that a challenge? A contest. Perhaps if the stakes are high enough, I might see a real man fight. Oh, yeah, you want to see a real man fight? Sure. Well, that's man. enough, Ryan. Well, come. Let's go. The statue. My statue of Fu Lu Su. That good enough for you? I can beat any tempt this turkey has. Let's do it. He's like you were once. All guts and no fear. Not much sense either. Sensei? Nah, no more. Let's go. The statues are priceless. That would complete the collection. We could build that temple you've dreamed about. Let's do it. Nah, let's go. Come. Maybe you're the one who's lost it, old man. Sensei? Forget it, kid. Your sensei's just a tired old man. He ain't got the spirit no more. Bushido, way of the warrior. Time just must have taken it away from him. Sensei! You don't want to fight this um, um, arm pit? No, arm strong. Yes, I want to fight. I'll kill him. That, that means... That means idiot, kid. You want to fight? All right, we have a fight. Your best against one, my best. One fight and one statue. You pick time and place and it will come. Fine. Let's make it one month from today, San Francisco. I'll see you there. I hope your best is an Elvis here. So, do we have a deal, old man? Old man, eh? Just be there. Teaching my kicking. Don't worry, I'm gonna show that Armstrong we can do it. Well, you have much to learn, Ryan. Yes. One month is not too much time. You should never underestimate the opponent. A great warrior never use a mouth as a weapon. That's only for a man with an empty spirit. Yes, sir. You must have a full spirit. Full spirit and nothing else. That's all the opponent sees. And nothing else. I can handle it. I can. Don't worry. We'll be good. We'll take care of that chump. Jerry! Sensei! What is it? It's a damn heart attack. Go get an ambulance. Go get an ambulance now, Ryan! Sensei! Sensei! What time is it? It's about 4 o'clock. Damn, I've been here over an hour. I've been here for two. Good morning. Doctor, how is he? He's in uh, stable condition now. He had a cardiac arrest. Probably suffered from a myocardial infarction. I can't even pronounce that. Man, it sounds bad. Well, it could have been much worse. As it is, he's going to need at least a month's rest. A month? Oh, a month? That's no good. Look, Sensei is a very stubborn man. His heart may be weak, but... His spirit is way too strong to let him sit still that long. Well, with a spirit like that, it can kill him. And he can't let him get excited. A month. And anything physical is out of the question. I understand he runs a martial arts school. That's right. Nothing like that. Absolutely not. Can we see him at least? Well, for just a moment. Are you going to be taking care of him? He's going to be well monitored. Doctor, we do in an hour and 15 minutes. Excuse me, I must go. Thank you. Sensei, speak to me. Stop spitting on me. Ryan. He spoke. He's alive. Oh, your breath, Ryan. Will you mind? You had us worried sick. 
Oh, yeah, but now I feel better now. So what's new? What's new? Sensei, Ryan says you wanted to fight Armstrong's man. Mm. Yeah, that's a big fight with big stakes. Yeah, one month from today. Yeah. You know, Michael, this old man's heart is very inconvenient. I must leave up to you. Make sure that Ryan trains every day. He must be ready. He must be ready. Understand? Hey, Sensei. Excuse me. I'm afraid you'll have to let him rest now. Doctor's orders. Hey, buddy. Um, I think someone should stay here with Sensei, at least for tonight, just to make sure he's okay. Okay. I'm going to do it. You want to do it? Yeah. Look, man, you need to go home and get some rest. You've been fighting all day, and you're supposed to start your training tomorrow. No, 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 listen, listen. You go home, and you take Jerry back, and just come back with the guys tomorrow, and then we can take shifts. It's all right. You sure? Yeah. I can't sleep anyway tonight. All right, Brenda. Send him more. Hang in there. Three weeks away. Yeah. How is he? He's all right. He wakes up and he goes back to sleep. You guys go ahead and leave. I'll stay a little while longer. I'm not tired. No, no, that's it. That's it, Ryan. No more. Let's go. You have to go home and get some rest. Ryan, don't disappoint Sensei. Ryan. Come on, buddy. Give me a ride home. Where's my shoes? In your bag, right there. Like you, Sensei. Like you. <laughs> it's three o'clock. Michael, the guy's an hour late, man. And you know, he's always late. What can we say about that? Ryan! Hi. How you doing? Hey. Glad you could make it. How you feeling today? I'm all right. Great. What are y'all staring at? You all set? Oh, yeah, we're ready whenever you're ready. Just take your time, take your time, no big hurry. Yeah, just take your time. Ain't no hurry, take your time. Hey, man, I'll take my time when I feel I take my time, you know? Just because I'm in the hospital all week doesn't mean I'm an invalid. I could still take you guys on if I wanted to. Sorry, Ryan, we lost our heads. Come on, you ready? Let's do it. Sensei's condition is bothering you. But what do you think? It bothers all of us. But you gotta shape up. I mean, where have I ever hit you so many times? <laughs> yeah, you know he's right, man. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. Don't worry. We got time. No, we don't, Ryan. Man, three weeks is nothing, Ryan. You gotta pull it together. Don't blow it. I thought you were my friend. No, just get out of my face. Ryan, I'm in your face because I am your friend. You're going to blow it. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Ryan, do you hear me? I hear you, Jerry. Just wake up! So, how 
you feeling, Ryan? I'm all right. You know, uh, Jerry said he only saw you once this month, and the boys say they keep knocking you down. I think you need another month. We don't have another month, Michael. And even if we did have another month, what can we do anyway? Because Sensei is... And look, that's no excuse, okay? Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Yes, Sensei. Today's the day, isn't that? How do you feel? I'm okay. You've been training very hard every day? Hmm? Well, I've been training. Don't worry, I'm not going to let you down. No, it's not your victory that I'm concerned about. Only that you perform honorably and well. Ah, and with care. Huh? I'll do my best, Nancy. Mm brought the whole gang today. You monkeys too, what's the matter? You afraid your man's not gonna win today? No confidence? I don't know what's more laughable. Your arrogance or your naive stupidity. You don't know what you got yourself into, kid. You done talking? Where's the statue, boy? Anytime you're ready. Hank! Meet Tangston, my prize student, 11 times world champion. I hope all those lessons you've been taking are worth the time you've spent. Oh, by the way, let me express my deepest sorrow for the illness your teacher is suffering. I'm sure he'd like to have been here to help carry you off. Good luck. It's over. Oh. Today's battle is over, but the war is not. We return and win back what was once ours. <laughs> Two months, I'm strong, this time for my last statues. You got a lot of nerve, old man. No, but if we win, then you surrender both of the statues. The one you want today, the one you want so many years ago. Two for one, but how can I refuse? I'd have a complete collection worth more as a group than three separately. You got a deal, not a smart move, but you got a deal. Two months, right here. I'm crazy, huh? I know you're not feeling well, Sensei. What are you smiling at? You see, I'm not feeling well. How about yourself? Look at you. Those statues mean so much to you. Uh, two months' time, even I can't beat that guy. Ryan, son. Remember the first lesson? Of course. Say it now. Sensei, please. Say it! The first lesson! The battle always begins in the mind. 
Those who struggle within the thoughts of self-doubt die in the blood and sorrow of their own self-pity. To believe in yourself is the way of the warrior. That's it. To believe. To believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. Even so, Sensei, two months. I mean, Jerry, Michael, we can only do so much. And without you, you have to have a trick up your kimono or something. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do have some plan. Doctor say, I cannot train you. Doctor say, I cannot excite my heart. But doctor not say, I cannot help you win a statue back. So what are you going to do? Well, I'll get you a new sensei. No, I'm not going to train under anyone else sensei, no. Hey, pay attention. This teacher is not just anyone. This teacher has worked with me privately for 12 years. A mighty warrior and a fine teacher. Uh, Michael will pick up tonight at the airport, 10 o'clock. Sensei Lauren will arrive from New York. It's not traditional. You trained my father. You've trained me. It's a part of our family. My father was one of the best. Oh, yes. Indeed, your father was one of the best. I recall a time when he helped me defeat a rival school. A ruthless gang of bullies and thieves who tried to steal our sacred statues for the monetary value. Armstrong? Uh, yes, but that's a story for another time. For now, Ryan son. For your father's sake, and for the statues, you must promise that you pay same respect to Sensei Lauren as you do to me always, and same loyalty. Yes, sir. Also, never question new Sensei's method, or philosophy, or ability. Now, my student Lauren is different from you in many ways, but in many ways the same like quality. You promise you obey. For you, Sensei, I will. No, no, not for me, Ryan, sir. Not for me. For you. For you. Come on, Ryan. Uppercut. Come on, good. Hup, hup. Uppercut. Come on. Good. Good. Where the hell is this guy? Michael was supposed to bring him an hour ago. Would you relax and just get back to this? What's up? What's up? Hey, Michael. Michael. Hey, what's going on with the... With the Thank uppercut. you for coming. Oh, hey. So where's this new sensei hey, guy? Don't worry about yeah. sensei. Sensei's right outside. A couple more minutes. Just hold your horses. Come okay? on, let's get back to this. Yeah, Come on. on. Let me see what he's doing. Come on, give me some hooks. Come on. Ryan, would you put something into these punches? Could you hit like Paul's grandmother? Oh, that's cold. Oh, man, I'm sorry. You know my grandma doesn't have any arms. She doesn't. Your grandma ain't got no arms? No, she ain't got no legs either. She got no legs? Well, she used to have one leg and it broke off. You guys are sick, man. Messed up. up. You need to get her, like, some big boots and put on the nerves and let her walk back come up down the highway. You think so? You guys are oh, sick, Jerry. Come on, put this stuff boots. back come up. Come on, let's go. Nerves and let her walk back come on, this is stupid. Imagine some other guy trying to train me. That's dumb, Jerry. Dumb. Ryan, this guy's supposed to be one of the best. So? Yeah. So? The best. America's best. <laughs> come on, let's go. Hey, look, you touch that thing. I'm going to get sent there, okay? Give me some kicks. Come on. Good. Good. One more time. Give me a hook. Give me a hook. Whoa. That good, huh? No. That good. Guys, fellas, I want to introduce you to Sensei Lawrence. He's here to train you, Ryan. Hey, fellas. Come here. What's up, Jared? Hi. I'm Ryan. No. I'm Ryan. No, no, no. I'm Ryan. No, no, I'm Ryan. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm not going to do this. This is not traditional, Jerry. Ryan, would you show the lady a little respect, please? And introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Ryan Kim. So nice to meet you. Hope your plane flight was nice. I hope they give you little itty bitty peanuts on the plane with nice complimentary drinks. Hope Michael took you all around town so you see all the nice little sights because you have to go home so right now. Is this guy always so charming? Hey, what can I say? 
a gem, a real jewel. Jerry, you don't mean this. I mean, she'll probably start to cry if I hit her. That's funny. That's what the last guy said to me before I knocked him out. Yeah, who is that? Some guy named Tankson. You know him? Tank? You KO Tank? Mm -hmm. All right. She KO Tank. Doom, doom. Tank. Get <laughs> down. Tank. She done Tank. Doom, doom. Thanks a lot. Come on, Sensei, let me show you to your dressing room. Okay. Excuse me. Tank. You know, I heard all about your fight, Ryan, and I think what we really need to do is go back to the basics to start. Well, uh, there's no beginning. There's no basics. You see, they're beginners. They do basics. You see, I'm a fighter. You see, all I do is fight. So if you want to fight, then me and you can fight. Okay. But you think you're up to it? Of course. I don't know about that, because remember the other day when we was fighting, we was free sparring, and I hit you like this, and you fell down, and then and Jerry, tell me what, what happened when you... Uh, your nose started bleeding. Yeah, yeah. you guys cool. No. If you would like to fight, then let's fight. Ryan, are you trying to impress me? <laughs> Lauren, if he was trying to impress you, he'd have his shirt off. Jerry. No. Shall we fight? Okay. Well? Well? Don't you wear pads? Ryan, that's personal. Sparring pads, you know, for fighting. Oh. <laughs> Ryan, don't worry. I have great control. I won't hurt you. I promise. Great. I think you better wear them, though. You don't want to break a nail. I think I'll chance it. You sure? Positive. All right. So should we go street style or full contact? Oh, no uh, question, street style. Nah, go full contact. I want to see how you hit when you Michael. Get no, 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 no. Street style. Um, I want to see him get KO'd. So, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's your fight, as you like. My fight? Let's go, superstar. Baby Sensei, after you. Okay, let's go. You're the guest. You go get beat up today. <laughs> you want to put some money on this thing? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm a fighter. <laughs> hey, we're beginners. This is Tiger, and this is Snake. But the crane always wins. Understand, boys? Oh. Yes, yes. Let's watch Ryan get beat up. Oh, yeah, right. Watch, boys. You'll see a little less in martial arts. Aren't you forgetting something? What? You gotta powder your nose? Ryan, you don't have to like me, but tradition must always be honored. I'd like to do is work on your timing, unless there's anything else. Well, maybe you can teach me to keep my foot out of my mouth. That's not the problem. It's keeping Tankson's foot out of your mouth. Move in and out. 
by the head. Good, try. Relax, relax, my God. Michael, come in here. Show him how to do footwork. Relax, you know, have rhythm. Like that. All right. All right. Keep your body relaxed. Oh, God. Watch your upper body movement. Too much shoulder, not enough waist. Okay, try it again. Come on, Ryan. Oh, much better, Ryan. That was great. You let me do it, Jerry. Come on, it has to be ten times better if I'm gonna beat that guy. It's not speed and power, it's technique. And it's not how hard you hit the man, but with what and where. Have you ever heard of pressure points? That crap doesn't work. There you go, Mr. Negative. Then why don't you just call Tanks and tell him come down here, and then you can hand him the statue. Go ahead. I'm serious, Ryan. We don't have time to waste. The classroom's yours. Okay. What you have to learn is the various parts of the body, and then you can understand their functions. What's the matter? Oh. You have to go to the bathroom? No, no, it's nothing. You can continue. When you can identify these points, you'll know how to apply the pressure. Oh, I understand. So basically what you're telling me is you and I need to learn about our bodies together. Would you like a demonstration? I think that's a good idea. Let's go. So me and you can look. What kind of shit? That's not all. It doesn't move. Your head doesn't move. Your neck doesn't move. Your spine's totally out of whack. Shut up, Mike. Wait till I put you in this thing. Ah, come on. Sensei Lauren, maybe next time you can find the nerve that'll shut his mouth, huh? Ah. Okay, that's enough of a demonstration. Now, do you understand what I mean? Yes, Sensei. Good. So you say we're going to work on my timing today? Mm-hmm. Timing's just as important as speed. You know, you're pretty fast, but speed alone isn't enough. As Sensei says, Speed kills, but timing is everything. Sure. How long have you known Sensei? Oh, God, let me see. I must have met Sensei about 18 years ago. So you need tournaments. Oh, back then there weren't any. Uh, at the time, my father worked for an oil company as a technician. And we used to move around a lot. God, let me see, about every five or six years, we'd have to move to different locations. Fortunately for my dad, not all street people are snakes. Some are dragons. Sensei? Mm-hmm. Sensei recently came from Japan, and he was out on the streets, so my dad then gave him a home with us. You ready? We gotta get back to training. We don't have too much time. Okay, today our first lesson is the rear chart in this position here. Shoulder, shoulder, spine, thigh,
Ah, this? Uh, this is not nurse, my, my nurse. I'm helping him to recover. Yes, she has to recover very fast. Obviously. Are you behaving yourself? Of course, Ryan. And how about you? I'm doing okay. My cheek misses your fist. Your cheek misses my fist? Now, judging from that, doesn't seem to be missing my fist that much. That's a pimple sensei. Pimples? Those pimples, Ryan san, do you know why you get them? I don't know why I get pimples. Well, do you know how you get rid of them? Yes, sensei, I know how you get rid of pimples. Ryan, do you notice sensei doesn't have any pimples? Yeah. That's right. Sensei, I'm gonna get some tea. Would you like some? Oh, thank you, Lauren, please. Okay. What's my Ryan, son? You look so amazed. Something wrong? I don't believe it. She did something domestic. Well, serving tea is not necessarily a woman's job. Now, is it not an honor to serve your teacher? Well then, why don't you serve me by discussing your training? It's just not the same without you, Sensei. You mean to say my presence makes a difference to you? Now, Ryan-san, listen. Listen carefully. I have taught Sensei Lauren all I know, and she has learned it well. Now, through her, I am passing on my teaching to you. Now, when you see her, you'll see me. That's the hardest lesson I'll ever learn. Thank you, Garcon. Enjoy your dinner. It's Garcon. Oh. I'm glad Sensei's doing so much better lately. He's so stubborn. He really worries me sometimes. Well, you know, the guy's an old man, you know? And, you know, he sometimes gets a little sneaky. I mean, you have to trick him into making him eat his medicine. And he's real sharp. What can you do? That's for sure. After all these years, he never changed. I've known him a long time, too. Hey. Lauren. Um, if you uh, ever feel like you need a friend and you feel alone and don't feel like anybody likes you, and, well, feel free to hang out with me because I know everybody in town. Everybody loves me. And you can always hang around with me. Lauren. Hi. Honey. Hi. Ed, hi. Hi, Lauren. You look great. Thank you. <clears throat> this is Ryan. Connie, Ed. Hi, how, Hi. How long are you going to be here? I'll be in town for a couple months. Good. We'll have to get together before I go back, though. We'll do All lunch. Right. Well, that sounds great. Good. Your girl can call his girl. We'll do lunch. Connie, I'll call you next week. Okay. This is nice. First time I've ever seen you without your little chaperone. Who? Michael? I've known him for so many years. He's like a brother to me. What's your point? Nothing. Listen. Let me just give it to you straight. Is there anyone else in your life? Yeah, there's lots of people. I mean, like a man. There's some men. I mean, like a boyfriend? Oh, no. I don't have a boyfriend at the moment. Neither do I. Well, I should hope not. I mean, a, a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend right now. Not that I don't like girls or anything. I mean, I like a lot of girls. A lot of girls like me. They call me up and they say, Ryan, you know what are you doing? I'm getting excited. Well, anyway, I just haven't met the right guy yet. Ever been in love? Once. Was he nice? He was when I first met him. But I guess people change. Or maybe I just changed. I don't know. Sometimes you just can't make people be what you want them to be. No, you can't. He must have been special. Why? He had you. He's not so special now. What do you mean? If he was, I wouldn't be here helping you. 
The man I was in love with was Samson. Samson Armstrong. You better hurry up and eat your food. We have to get up early tomorrow. We have to get up early tomorrow? Yeah. You in your bed and me in my bed all the way across town. And then we can do lunch. I can't believe you said Garcon. I can see you never took French before. Hey, bet he's wearing lace under all that leather. Where's your whip at, cowboy? Guys, my car. Hey, nice car. Maybe we'll just uh, wash it for you. <laughs> right on. That's new paint. I'm going to kill these guys. It's all right. Let them finish. Then we'll go. Listen to your woman, chink. You might get hurt. What's a foxy babe like you doing a loser like that? I'm gonna kill these guys, Lauren, right now. Ryan, no. Don't risk it. Remember the fight. Only fight you gotta worry about chumps this one right here. Stop! 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 Lauren, I could have handled myself in that situation. He pulled a knife. So I saw it! It's your pride, isn't it? I acted on instinct. Do all your dates go like this? No. Some are exciting. This was a real killer tonight. Why does everyone punch me in the nose? So far, so good. But there's one other thing I want to work on. I want to work on your kicking. My kicking? There's nothing wrong with my kicking. Yes, really, there is. No, maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. There you go again. Do you think I'm making this up? Do you think I'm here for the fun of it? No, but according to you, so far, the only thing holding me back is my lack of knowledge. Well, let me tell you something. Before you came here, I didn't do so bad. Ryan, why are you so afraid of being taught? I just don't know what to say to you to make it any easier. I see where you need to improve, and I'm really trying hard. Well, quit trying so damn hard. You know, I got my pride. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Why don't you go back feeling sorry for yourself then? I didn't mean to bruise your ego. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. And you want to know something? No, not according to you. You're not afraid of training. You're afraid of losing with no excuse to fall back on. Big champion whose teacher gets sick. Everybody's going to feel sorry for poor Ryan. How will he win now? You're so full of it. You know, ever since you've been here, I've worked my ass off. And you don't care. You don't care about anything. All you care about is just seeing me sweat and sweat and sweat. Well, you know something? I fought a tough fight. You lost a tough fight. Who cares about winning? Well, if you don't care about winning, then what am I doing here? You know, the last thing I need is some advice from some girl. Fine, leave. Go ahead. Get the hell out of here. Who cares? She's gone, man. Think she'll come back? Ah, oh, maybe. Really? No, not really. And that's what happened, Sensei. I don't believe it. It's all my fault. Man, what an idiot I am sometimes. Well? Say something. Why? I agree with you. You do? Of course. You are an idiot sometimes. You know, Ryan, son? When I feel sad, and ashamed. There is a certain spot that I visit. It's a spot where I can meditate and collect my thoughts. I think you should go there now. Where, Sensei? The mountains? The ocean? The temple? Is it the temple? No. Cafe Moulin Rouge in the main street. Cafe Moulin Rouge? Oh, they have the best espresso in town. Uh, espresso? Why do I want to get espresso, Sensei? Express. Oh, there's nothing like a good espresso to lift your spirit. Sensei. Go, and you'll find what you seek.
Of course, she's over there. Great sense of good. Look, kiss me. Oh, no, no kissing, thank you. Just go. Dude, you are so gross. I can't believe it. Hey, there's that same chink from last night. Yeah, no lady kung fu either. Hey, Slope. Where you going, huh? Yeah, where's your bodyguard, huh? Guys, I don't got time for this, okay? I need to stay to get it. Hey, but I got something to show you. Yeah, give it to him, Rick. Show him, show him. What's up? This. Coffee or dessert here? It's okay. Hi, Lauren. How are I'm you? Happy. Fine, thank you. How are, are you? Are you in town long? For a couple months. We'll do lunch sometime. Oh, sounds good. Good to see you. Talk to you later. Okay, bye bye. Must everyone want to do lunch with you? Only a few. Listen, um, I guess I kind of blew it. And, well, I guess <clears throat> what I want to say is. Well, the thing is, what it is, is, I guess, I guess I'm, I, um, I, I guess I'm sorry. That's the dumbest apology I've ever heard. Forget it. Well? Well what? How about you? Okay, so I got a little bit hot too. I didn't think I ever see it. So we're still friends? Yeah, I guess so. Like two buddies? But you better wait tomorrow and ask me that question when I'm correcting your technique. Technique? What's wrong with my technique? Excuse me, are you Ryan Kim? Yeah, you want to do lunch? It's a note for you. Thanks. No one wants to do lunch with me. Says he's got in the hospital. What? Sensei? My head. Your head? Mm. What is it? No, it's nothing. Just a static. Since when? Since you walked in. Five seconds ago. He's obviously all right. <laughs> hey, Ryan. All I said was that Sensei was back in the hospital. Uh, that's all you said, huh? Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, oh, Lauren. Yes, Sensei? It seemed I steered right in the right direction. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Sensei. Mm -hmm. So, how goes the training, Ryan? Son? Is he ready? He's ready. Huh? I'm ready, Sensei. Am I ready? I feel ready. I look ready. Am I ready? Is he ready? I think he's ready. Now that, I couldn't do anything about. No, nothing can be done about it. That's called mental imbalance. Yeah? Uh, what? No, 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 nothing, nothing. Sensei, mm. is there anything else I could do before the fight? Mm. Just peace for your spirit, so it may protect you. Now, Lauren, Ryan, go home, rest and relax. Relax? Well, that means we should go home and go to bed. How about that? How about a concussion? Well, mine's a way for us to relax. And mine's a way for you to rest. In peace. Oh. Ooh, sounds like somebody's going to bed alone tonight. So who's going to stay with me? You keep him company. Uh, no, not me. But I will elect Jerry. I'm checking out. All right. Now, all of you go out. I have to meditate now. Yes, Sensei. Yes, Sensei. <laughs>
friends, eh? And look who showed up. Train hard, kid? Where's your mouth? Did it get knocked out of you last time? I see you still have yours. Hope your man has been training. I certainly have with our new teacher. Teacher? Oh, kid, if you're serious, you might as well hand over the statue now. Save yourself a broken head. Are you ready, mate? Tank is. Anytime you are. Oh, well, let's go. Be careful. I'll see you later. Don't count on it. There is no time limit. And there are no rules. Last man standing shall win. Good luck, Mario. I need to wrap them, I'll just take it the way it is. You surprised me today, kid. I got a surprise for you. Thank you. It's been a long time, Lauren. Yeah, a long time. Not enough. This just isn't your day. I'm sorry, Sensei. Congratulations, Ryan-san. You did it. Oh, come on. They still are statues. Ah, uh, but you have your greater reward. You have won back your self-esteem and gained a new insight into much-needed humility. Did what? They robbed us. Ah, uh, statues are just ivory. That's shallow compared to true worth of my students to me. But that ivory's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to Armstrong. And it's worth so much more to you, Sensei, spiritually. We'll get them back. I promise. Ah, uh, listen, both of you. Statues are not really important. I'm old. I just feel great knowing that my students can be as honorable as you, too. I think that makes me very happy and proud. Ryan, Lauren, it's over. We have won. No more. Understand? No more. So this jump pulled down on the sea watch there and embarrasses us. What do we do? Nothing? We are going to do something. I got a plan. We you just sit down, hot shot. You're crazy if you think this plan's going to work. You don't even know where the statues are. Yeah, well, I got a map. I think you've been watching too many ninja movies. No, Lauren, it's been Rambo lately. And besides, Armstrong has lots of men. Yeah, big men with big bubbling muscles that'll kill you and bite your damn head off. And then they take your legs and... Will you just cool it? it Will you just listen and cool it? It's very simple. Now, Jerry, you and the boys are going to take the front gate. Craig and the guy will take the back. Lauren and me will take the roof. And I have a back of a motorcycle on the side. It's real simple. It'll be a piece of cake. All right? No! What do you mean, no? I mean, no! You're going, man. You're going, Paul. Come on, Paul. What is this? Peer pressure? It's not like we're asking you to take drugs or anything. How do you think it all starts? Hmm? Somebody hit him. You're going, oh. Paul. But what if I die? Then you won't have to ride the hump on the way home. Yeah, you won't be riding on the hump. The hump. Right, right. The hump. The hump, Lauren. The hump. The hump, Lauren. Oh. 
Are you sure? Don't worry. I, I've seen this in movies. Okay, this is the safety, this is the bolt. No, this is the bolt, this is the safety. What's this one? This is the safety that releases the bolt. There's two bolts? Oh, my God. Give me the gun. I might need it to save your life. I don't think so. You're going to regret this. I already do. Let me check the time. Where's my watch? Jerry's waiting for us. Let's go. He's at the guardhouse. trespassing this part of the property. You're going to have to turn around and go back. Hi. We're here to see Stephen. Yes. There's no Stephen here. Stephen. Tall, blonde, blue-eyed, real cute. Stephen. Yes. There's nobody here by the name of Stephen. You're trespassing. Let's turn around and get out of here. Now, didn't you say Stephen This is Stephen's place. It's sign right down there with the address, and it's, it's Stephen's place. There's nobody here like that. You guys are trespassing. You're on private property. He's probably with that sleazy girlfriend of his. Oh, Ooh. yes, that winch. You guys are going to have to go. You're trespassing. Get off the property. Turn around and go back. Why don't you just get on your little old telephone and call him for us? I'm not calling anybody. You're trespassing. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to tell you again. What do you think? We are stupid? Hey, Tinkerbell, take a hike. Ooh. Who made him boss? He is the boss. Let's go. He's out the boss? Here. You mean you're the boss? boss. You're Bruce Springsteen? I just love your music. Boy, nothing in the year. Hey, buddy, ah. let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Did he? I don't oh, know, but he's scared me. I'm having heart palpitations. Listen, I'm not going to tell you again. There's nobody here named Steven. You're on private property. Get out of here. Listen, if you don't have to cooperate with us, we're going to have to hurt you. You and the two guys you rode in on couldn't hurt me, buddy. So let's just get... Come on. Come on. Come on. Three of them got by. Get up. How'd it go? No problem. We just walked right good, in. Good, good. Where's Michael and Paul? They're down the hill. They'll be up in a sec. Great. Oh. Forward. Yeah! This guy's not for real, is he? It's gotta be a joke. White guys don't know this stuff, do they? No. Yeah, yeah, you're scared. Back off, back off. Yeah, that's right, you're scared now, ain't you? No, <laughs> no, no. Do some of that. Kung Fu stuff on Oh, man, but this, this is it, man. I want to shoot people. No, you know? I look more impressive this way. Give me that. Now, just wait a second. Let me gather away. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Michael, that was okay. Just your kicks were a little low. A little low. You just stay behind me. I'll teach you that later. Oh, thank you, Sensei. Kung Fu Theater? Ryan, put that down. That way, Ryan. Oh, wait, no. This way. Get that. Right. Where's Craig? Ryan, put her on your shoulder. Where's Lauren? I don't know. She gave me this gun. Put, the put gun that on down. the ground. So, Ryan, where's Lauren? I don't know. Ooh. 
This is bullshit having to work every Sunday. You know the boss, man. He wants to work every day. He's a slave driver. Don't you complain? Oh, man, I'll be home giving the wife a big one. Don't worry. Oh, my... oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Death or something? What are you guys up to? Lord, 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 Lord. How you doing? Yeah. What is this, a party? Come on, get serious. What the hell are you doing? I got it. Okay, check this out. Craig, Sam, Richard, you guys take the back house. Got it? Got, got it. it. Pronto. Jerry, you take the pool house, one guard. Got it. Paul, five guys in the back. They're all armed. But you gotta run fast, baby. You're our fastest. Got it? You're our bait. Bait! I'm not gonna do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Let's get Mikey to do it. He'll do it here. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no, no. What I look like, Bruce Lee come back black? I gotta take on how many people? A whole bunch. A whole bunch. You're gonna need what? this. No problem, Bruce. Oh, thank you. Thank you here very you go, much. Buddy. I really We're it. ready, guys. Ready. 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 I think I'm ready. Great, Ryan. We order Rambo, and what do we get? Psychos. Anything else? Yeah, just one thing. What? We've got company. Oh, oh shoot. Great. Hi, boys. Remember me from the gate? And me too. And me too. Get over here. We got a little score to settle. Give me all your guns. Now! Did you fools think you could actually just walk in here? My house, my fortress, and take my statues? Our statues! We won them fair and square. What do I care what's fair? Life's unfair. The winner's the one with the prize. We won. Oh, you lost as of right now. Bring me the girl. You're crazy if you think I'm going with him. Go ahead. He'll probably lead you right to the statues. Get rid of the rest. You know what this is? I know where you can put it. Yeah, if you're into that. Haven't changed. Sorry, guys. Thank you, Where's the guy when you need him? He's supposed to be here. He told me he'd come. Ready! Get up! Get up now! Now! Up! What the hell is that? Jesus Christ! Get up! Get up! Get up! Jesus, Randy, where the hell you been? Damn, I've been at football practice. Hey, I appreciate you coming down and everything. Tell Lauren I said hello, right? Hey, you why don't you take care of that guy down the gate? Or else we'll never get out of here. Okay. Good job. by class, Samson. It's something you have to have. And believe me, you don't. Such a mouth. Such a pretty one, too. How about a drink? Those are Italian. Now they're wet. I always did admire your spirit, Lauren. It'll be a pleasure taming you again. You're hungry. I know I am. You don't know when to quit, do you? Oh, Leonard. All right, all right already. You don't have to yell. Voila, little pies. Thank you. Samson, it's been much too long. Mm. You little witch. Let it tell. I can't believe you did that. You. You. Don't you think I would have expected that? I was doing this before you were gleam in your father's eye. Still ticklish now? Yeah? Get your filthy hands off of me! <laughs> I'm sorry, Samson. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. 
I know. Let's talk about something interesting. Let's talk about us. You and me. Okay. Okay, how about you and me? Good eye, mate. Let's go in the corner. Let's go. What do you say, you and me in the corner? Put the gun down. Move it back. Let's go. Why don't you just join him? Good job, Jerry. Put your gun down. Put it down. Guess again, big boy. Put your gun down there and join your friends in the corner. Come on, move it. Back off. Good work, Leonard. I'll stuff your stocking with something special for this. Oh. Fix them up, Johnny. Let's go. Let's move it. Put down your gun, Samson. Way to go, Lauren. Those statues are priceless. You wouldn't dare. You want to bet? Shoot, shoot. It's going to be garbage in a second. Do it. You're bluffing. Mm -hmm. Your sins are never give you. She's bluffing. Do it, Johnny. Call off your man, now! She's bluffing. Johnny! You're lost! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Get the statues, Lauren. Go, Jerry, go! Give me the statues. Good to waste on you. My weapon is deserving to one who knows the meaning of honor and integrity. Not a snake like you who crawls the bellies. Sensei, what happened to honor and integrity? So? I lied. Statues, we got the statues. You talking about the statues. Come on, you guys, let's go! That's nice, man. What? Get out of here. Why are you so wet, man? Come on, let's get him! Sunset! Sunset, how'd you get here? Oh, but my car! Oh, my, car. Oh, my car, you can't even drive! Well, 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 May I present my number one student? No, you, you go, take care. No, 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 Master, you go do it. You number one honorable student? No, you, you no, go no, 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 you do it. I say you do it, go! Yes. Don't mess. Oh, by the way, Mr. Kim, the kicks? A little higher next time, huh? Who's this kid? Let's go, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go out of here. Statues up. Guess we're going tomorrow. Yeah, I guess I am. We won. I guess so. Look at this. This used to be the most important thing in my whole life. Winning these. I want to thank you for coming and helping me. And teaching me. Sensei. 
You need a ride back to the airport tomorrow? No. Michael and Jerry are picking me up at 8 o'clock. But I'd like you to be there. Okay. And don't be late. 8 o'clock. So where are you going now? Where do I always go? When you're depressed? Your mom? Here. Isn't this where you always come when you're depressed? How'd you know that? Do 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 do. This is getting weird. No, Jerry told me. Oh. So what are you gonna do now? Well, I have some unfinished business. I think I know what that is. Yeah. I'm 
and I say in the most of my making the sales. Surrounded by numbers, really more than me. I like quite chain cane on my color TV. A blur of emotion, a pain for yell. A pinpoint punch, packing power like a nail. A pressure point and broken bones. Half the rest, but all my own. Cause I didn't 